What are we doing to our children? Last night my wife and I were visiting a friend and she's got a two-year-old. The kid was watching on her iPad for about 30 minutes without even moving, and then the internet went down. The following seconds wasn't the shouting of a normal two yo, it was the fury of a meth addict that is take his dope away seconds before using it. I was amazed and saddened by witnessing such a tragedy. These children are becoming highly addicted to dopamine at the age of will be of them at the age of 15. Went to a friend's house and her five yo daughter sat alone in a dark room, quietly watching the entire four hours I was there. Whenever anyone would try to get close to her, she would immediately hide the screen or change the video she was watching to something else. I pointed out the odd behavior to her mom my friend who just laughed. Also, keep in mind that she wasn't even on kids. This is going to become a huge issue, I mean it already is, but it will get much worse. Adults are the same, we just express it in different ways, most times. My partner and I let our two-year-old have screen time with the iPad for a few months. He got so possessive of it. We decided to put an end to it in our house. He's allowed to watch at his grandma's but for only 15 minutes the meltdowns went away and he is able to cope with having it turned off after his time is up. Reminds me of the article from yesterday about a high school kid who beat his teacher unconscious for taking away his Nintendo Switch. Some people rag on our teachers for being too negative, but it's a great place to read about the consequences of the phenomenon you saw. Ergo, the first iPad kids are now teens. This is rampant and alarming. There's a lot of research going on about this. As someone who works in adolescent mental health, I'm yet to be allocated a teen who engages in hobbies sports regularly, doesn't spend hours online and has close interpersonal relationships. You can take anything off a toddler and they'll be a prick about it tbf. At first this seems like a fair concern, but this is typical toddler behavior. My friend deals with world crushing tantrums from her two year old when they have to leave a space the kid was comfy in. Toddlers are not receptive to change nor the concept of no. The same tantrum would result from the wrong meal, a toy being taken away, or literally anything. Teacher here. We use a program called GoGuardian so we can remotely control their Chromebook use in class. The only times I felt I was possibly going to be physically assaulted is when I tabbed kids out of the game they were playing. Also, they cannot handle consuming any media longer than a TikTok or short video. We showed them a movie for Halloween as a treat last Friday. They were in complete agony. One of the saddest things I have seen was a two three year old getting pushed in a stroller, but he was holding a tablet and staring at whatever was playing. No interest in looking around at his surroundings or where he was going. Why are so many people saying this is going to be a problem as if smartphones and iPads came out a year ago? You have 15 and 20 year olds acting like this now. The isolation and lack of social skills is here. Read an article about UFL High School banning cell phones and one girl they interview is outraged and said they have made her feel isolated. Her world is not the real world, it is online. Pop into the teacher's subreddit. Kids are already destroyed by this stuff. Fifth graders who can't read. High schoolers who can't write a single paragraph, etc. Kids should never ever have tablets or phones until high school at least. I wish my daughter would read this thread. Her kids don't seem to know what to do without a tablet or phone in their hands. When we ask them to go somewhere or do something else, they get upset. I think I need to send them a link. It's not the screen that's the problem. It's the lack of teaching children to handle disappointment and learning to entertain themselves. The problem is people using screens as a replacement for parenting and teaching their children things. I was raised on TV and I turned out TV. You should see what elementary schools look like. Tech needs to be outlawed for kids. End of story. It's worse than meth. Marketing and social media is geared to steal engagement. Doing well for kids it's a real challenge these days. 
so many parents give in or simply don't see the dangers. Parents that want to do good are a minority. Just wanna say, stay strong. Don't give kids free access to internet, tablet, phone, TV, etc. limited to X minutes per day. Skibbity toilet right? I was at a restaurant the other day and this family brought each of their three kids their own iPad to watch play on. The coloring pages and crayons the restaurant hands out weren't good enough for them I guess. It's very sad. Another day I saw a kid in a park playing on an iPad. It is truly a sad existence. All my best memories were running around outside as a kid. Was it my friend's house the other week, his son was watching YouTube on his iPad. A delivery happened to come and it was a new mountain bike for his son. My friend unboxed it and was like hey name, here's your new bike. Kid just looked up from his iPad for one second, no reaction, didn't say anything and immediately went back to watching YouTube. They will be consumers. Good, reliable consumers. Virtual autism. It's real. Oh we have a mental health dark age coming. They're not addicted to dopamine. It's the dopamine reward system in the brain that is activated but it can be activated in other ways too. They may be developing psychological addiction to screen time and using e.g. YouTube. The problem is parents using these technologies to babysit their children. Children need to be taught healthy ways to produce dopamine like exercising and playing with their friends and toys. I don't know if it's relevant or not but I've seen a real and measurable decline in the ability of students 11 to 18 to memorize factual information and I'm sure it's linked to smartphone usage. I could teach in a lesson, have them enthralled, practice what has been learned and then watch it all evaporate as they leave the room and get their phones out.